Hello and welcome to yet another TechWizKid24 video tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change the default Windows Media Center background. As you can see here, we have the plain blue one. You know, it's kind of boring after a while. This hack is only for Windows 7 users, so Vista and XP, sorry, can't get it. But what you do is you're going to need a few things for before we get started. The first one is a registry tweak, and what this does is it allows you to get take ownership on your right click menu. This makes the whole process a lot faster. So go ahead and download it. It's right in the sidebar right off my website. The second thing you're going to need is a program called Rest Restorator 2007 Trial. That's also in the sidebar. Just download right from the site. It's a 30 day trial so you can uninstall if you really don't like it after. And the third thing you're going to need is a .png or a .bmp picture for your background. So what you're going to do is you go to your start menu, computer, local disk, Windows, eHome, and you're going to look for ehres.dll. As you can see here, just take ownership of that. Copy and paste that right in your desktop. You can close out of the eHome or minimize it. I'm just going to minimize it. Right click on your desktop, make a new folder, and just name this whatever. I'm just going to name it background. This is for the modified DLL when we save it. So then you go ahead and you're going to open the ehres.dll in your Restore 2007. Find it here. Open. And you're going to navigate to RC data and look for common.animated.background.png. You go ahead and right click that. Click assign. Click assign to. You find your background that you found that you have, your .png or .bmp background click open. You should be all set up for that. Go to save, save as, save it right in that new folder you made. Just click OK. Make sure you close out of that. Go back to your eHome folder. Take ownership again just in case. I'll go ahead and take ownership of this too. And then simply just cut and paste, move and replace. X out of these. And when you open Windows Media Center, you should have that background as your new background. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos and also sign up on my website if you're interested. There's some forums you can ask questions if you have any questions. I also got some other things on there.